as the opposition leader Raila Amolo Odinga and his crew go across the country for their anti-government rallies, pulling huge mammoths of crowds, threatening the sitting president who they do not even acknowledge. There seems to be people that have wise counsel for the sitting president that his focus should be elsewhere. Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube space. My name is GK. If you are checking in for the first time, thank you for clicking. Do make sure that you subscribe here. We stay informed and entertained but before we head over to today's let's go you all to ptec services now allow me to interrupt your viewing to bring to you ptec services a team of technology experts and i know probably some of you want to call them geeks what a name because these guys are so passionate about technology and providing you the best solutions we have in the market so committed to ensuring that technology around you is running smoothly and efficiently so that you can actually focus on what really matters which is chasing the bug now are you looking for top-notch installation of cctvs air conditioners tvs all kinds of installations are you looking for excellent services when it comes to maintenance and repairs for your home and office appliances and electronics computers laptops printers washers name them are you looking for the best technical advisor and support and consultancy p tech services are the best we have in town in the 254 they have a wide range of solutions to all of your technical needs all you need to do is visit them at hilton hotel ground floor mamangina street nairobi or call them at 0710 224 799 or you can send them an email at info at ptech.co.ke they also have a website you can check out more about the company on their website I am going to be leaving all of those details on here for you use in times of technological glitches and needs. Call them, send them an email, visit them physically or go to their website and book yourself a free appointment. At PTEC Services, your technological needs are well taken care of so that you can focus on what really matters. Now, on to today's. As the opposition continues to say that they actually do not acknowledge the sitting president and many other things they have to oppose. Sema kwa tasari. Na kwamba jana rais sio rais. There has been a lot of leaders from the Kenya Kwanza side advising the president that the enemy is outside which is not true because kikulacho kingoni mwako, okay? Saying by far and large that opposition is their number one enemy and number two is um other cartels in the media banking sector, we all remember uh, the controversial threats by the Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot that the President must crush any alleged cartels in the Kenyan banking and media uh, sectors that brought a lot of conversations around the same topic. Now let's give it to Kenya Kwanza. They have a few well-educated techno-survey designer suited uh, charmers who have, for real, we give it to them, the political brain, okay? But that does not mean that they're always correct once the government was established. The main focus should, in fact, must for this matter, be on the insiders. The president ensuring that he now has an effective team that is going to be enabling him achieve his goal, objective, and vision for this nation. And there seems to be people that have this wise counsel actually sending it to the president, whether he listens, that's upon him, saying, I quote them, what President Ruto must now recognize is that the enemy is not in his predecessor. Uhuru Kenyatta, opposition leader Raila Odinga, the media, the civil society, banks, human rights campaigners, or any other external actors, the enemy is embedded deep within every fiber and bean of his administration. The enemy is in appointees, links, political partners, and a whole army of psychophants who dare not tell the king that he is naked. We're not saying that. Uh, the president needs not focus to focus on um, the opposition and his critics. But we are only saying that the main focus needs not to be there. That is not the real enemy. Anybody that can actually bring the Kenya Kwanza government down will always, always come from within the government, inside the government. So his enemy is not out here. They will critic do ninini, but the person that can bring the, the government down 
he or she is always going to be coming from inside the government tarudia jamani kikulacho kinguoni mwako now if you want to get the whole story by my on the sickening nyayo era mindset in ruto's regime just grab yourself last sunday's daily nation opinion page 21 and read through thank you for watching to the very end nataka niseme asante sana do make sure that you subscribe i am for sure going to be seeing you on my next upload